Strange Brigade. So the first thing we're going to do is get a letter one of seven. As soon as you go over the bridge, you will need to destroy a wooden barricade. Once you have destroyed the barricade, you want to go to the second tent off to your left hand side. And this is where you'll find the letter one of seven. I'd like to apologize for the first few collectibles. Um, I did actually record previously, but my Elgato capture card decided to have a wobbly. So um, yeah, I had to re-record most of it. From the last location, head down the hills. You will hear the cat. There's always a trigger for the cat. So as soon as you go down the stairs, you'll see the cat just appear on the rock side. Just to let you guys and girls know that the cat will trigger and make a meow sound. Once you go through the cave, you'll find your first health potion. This is when the cat appears. Jar number one of four. Once you go through the both archways, you should see a box to the left that you can search. Once you're in the next section, activate this thing. And if you go left, you should see um, a platform off to your right hand side, top right. And on this pillar here, you will find the jar one of four. It looks blue as well, so it should be right there. Well, it will be right there. Relic one of six. From the starting location, look left, you will find a temple. This will be your first puzzle. Pretty simple. Follow the pattern on the top of the door to unlock the door. Once you go in, kill the enemies. This door should unlock once you get close enough. And then you want to interact with the box in the middle to get your relic one of six. Once you go back round or go back through the door here, this is where you found the jar. Time to find the letter two of seven. Once you're in the middle section here with this spinning disc, once you shoot at it, go ahead and straight, or directly straight, sorry. You will find the dock area. If you go around to the left, next to the explosive barrel that I've destroyed, the letter will be right here on the floor. Once you go to the next area, you'll get a cutscene with scorpions that appear. After the cutscene, you want to stay to the right, go through the archway. Then eventually you'll see a turning go left, and there'll be another archway. Go all the way down to the very bottom to find the relic. Blue cat one, no, one, sorry, blue cat three of six. From the previous location, head back through the archways. Now this time we're gonna to stick to the right and go through this archway. Um, a few mummies will spawn. Once you dealt with them, if you go up the first climbable object and then go forward slightly, to so just keep an ear out for the blue cat sound, once you hear it, turn around, it'll be on this little um, hillside here. Cats. This one took me ages to find. Ages. I just did not see it. When you get the key to get through the next area, you'll get this cutscene with um, some spears in the air. Once you get the cutscene, backtrack a little bit. N not much, very little. You will see a goblin holding a treasure. Or a zombie, what we would call it. Once you kill him, you can pick up the uh, the sickle. This one took me ages to find. I didn't realize an enemy could carry it. Letter number three. From the proof location from the door, and when you picked up the relic, climb up both of these platforms here. Take a right and head up the stairs. Go left and go right. So left would be a cave, go up the right, sorry, and go up the slope. Go on the very small bridge, you'll find the book off to your left hand side. Riveting reading. Oh huzzah, what a treat. Relic four of six. From the previous location, now you want to go into the cave. Once you go in the cave, stay to the right, no, sorry, stay to the left. Damn, I'm getting all muddled up. 
stay to the left, you will find the relic puzzle door. Can our heroes pit their so same thing as before, activate it to get your puzzle combination, look behind you, on the back wall you'll find the combination. Same thing as before, just follow the pattern from left to right to solve it. Just head down the stairs and look in the box to get your relic 4 of 6. Oh, what a splendid find. Blue cat 4 of 6. Not too far away from the last relic, so go out the um, relic place, go right and go left. Once you go up the slope, you won't see the cat here just yet, but I've already triggered the cat. Once you go across the bridge, the cat will trigger. Turn around and shoot it. Cats. There's no Next one would be a jar, two or four. In the same location, look right, this is where you find it. Another one in the bag. Once you enter the next area and after you have destroyed the blue crystal, once you've defeated all the enemies in this area, you want to stick to the right. In this circle area here, you will find the letter four of seven. Oh goody, reading my favorite. Letter five of seven. Shortly after doing the uh, previous area, you will find this archway with these swinging blades that you can trigger. This will be your first set of swing and blaze that you can trigger. Look on the boxes to the left before you carry on. I wonder what this is all about. Jar number three or four. Once you go through the second door of swing and blades, stop, do 180, look up, and blam. Pottery, shuttery, more like. Blue cat, five or six. Now, this cat can trigger both ways, so if you happen to go right or then come up to the left or go left or come up to the right. So you have to go around at least once around this section here, but as soon as you do that, the cat will trigger, look behind you and look on that pillar. Is Relic 5 or 6. Very close to where you've got the cat. Activate this puzzle once again and find the puzzle section. So once you have carried on with the main mission, you will have to defend yourself in this area. Eventually this door will open after you have done it. This is where the key is for the main objective. And this is where the puzzle is. So once you've done that, try to remember the combination. If not, then just backtrack a few times to get it. Strange Brigade, that's Letter 6 of 7. Once you've used the key, you'll get a short cutscene with the skeleton. Right next to where you see the skeleton, oh, you will Julie find the letter Lord, 6. Nice bit of reading. That's always fun. Relip 6 or 6. Making things easy, from the last location, head down either side of the stairs and go towards the door to the right. There's no point in me showing you the combination of this, you just have to figure it out yourself because I think last time I've done this level three times, um, these have been different. So once you solve it, go for the door, pick up your relic. The once you go for the new door that you've opened, doing the puzzle, head down the stairs, turn around, you hear cat sound and shoot the cat. If you have found all six cats, there will be a door that opens to the right with cats' heads above the door. This is where you find the golden cat. Jar four or four. Very close to the last location. Continue on with your story. Before you head down the stairs, look on the, the pillar with candles on the left. Top shooting there, strange brigade. As soon as you jump down, you should get a cutscene with this skeleton that has a book in between his legs. Giggity. 
Once the cutscene finishes, pick up the book, and this will be it for the first mission. See you guys and girls in the next one.